tomorrow, both Jovi and Buddy are going to join a new homestead. They are going to a friend of ours homestead. And so we are getting ready to make a shoot so we can easily load them onto the trailer. Today is moving day for the calves, and so Charlie is going right now to close their little door, one of the gates, because they just so happen to be exactly where we need them right now, so hopefully this works out. All right, that didn't go exactly as planned. We've just got one of the calves in the stall and so we're gonna get him moved first and then we're going to go get the other one. Now we're trying to close this gap between the cattle panel and the trailer. Okay, so we were not able to close that gap, so I am closing the gap by standing in it. Close that thing, close it, close it. It's close, close, close. it's close, it's close. All right, mission accomplished. I'm crouched down low here, kind of hiding behind a wall because it is so windy here today in South Carolina. And I got my little buddy, Chester here. He wants to help me with the filming. But real quick, I wanted to explain a little bit better now that things have like kind of calmed down more of what we did with the little cattle shoot. So one thing that I have a big goal of getting in the near future is a head gate. And when I have one of those, for several reasons, one, vet checks. So when a vet comes, we can definitely, we can very safely handle our cattle by putting them in a head gate where we'll lock them in. But also if we do AI or anything like that, we definitely want to have a head gate for that also. So the head gate will go at the end of the chute here, if this is where we decide to do it. Oh my gosh, it's so many people to customize. But that's where a head gate could potentially go and it'd be really easy to mount it to the end of the barn right there. And the nice thing about the head gate too is if we're loading into a trailer, we can walk the cattle right down this chute where it just really helps guide them and it'll go right to the trailer. So what I did was I set it up and as you can see, and earlier in this video was I set up so we could get the cattle out of our big pasture, bring it down into a smaller paddock, which makes it very easy for us to handle them. And then they come into an even smaller area right here and I can close that gate. And Lisa was really able to catch me on film, getting basically that little calf knew what was up. And I feel like I was fully taken advantage of by it. And it, it escaped right as I came around the corner, like it knew what was up. So, hey, it happens as part of having them. But you gotta be quick, you gotta be fast because these little calves are smarter than you think. They're a lot quicker than you think. And before you know it, they're off running somewhere else 
other than where you want them to go. And I've learned that a lot with the cattle, especially like the ones that I don't have halter trained because the ones that have halter trained, I can pretty much move them anywhere I want them to go. It's really easy. But the ones that are not, even though I'm in there with them all the time, I feel like I can move them from paddock to paddock pretty easily. When you're trying to move them into a small space, you really, really have to have good communication with the people you're doing it with and really know what you're doing so you don't get hurt or others get hurt because of that. So we are able to move all the calves this morning very safely with the trailer. Getting them loaded on a trailer was actually really easy. I wish we could have filmed more of it because, well, we just needed the three of us need, needed to be like with our both of our hands in the air, wave and move them around and stuff like that we weren't able to film. But it went really, really smooth. All right, we got the calves all set and they're in the trailer and we are going to our friends at Wrangling the Rutherfords. It is cow day for their homestead, which is, I know, a dream come true for them and they're very, very excited about it. And we're really excited that we were able to be a part of it with them. It's cow day! It's cow day! Are you so excited? Yes, we're ready. <gasps> Say we're ready. You ready? <laughs> cattle panel loose so we can just open it up and back the trailer in and make a kind of a makeshift chute and run them in nice well it went pretty smoothly at our house so Did hopefully it? this goes really smoothly as well good i'm glad look at these sheep and there's charlie charlie is the brother of our pup chester Charlie is trying to get our new turkey with William's help. Oh, he's got him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's our new Tom. Oh, buddy. Mr. Tom. Aw. He's Charlie's such an animal lover. He's he Hello. like just makes <laughs> makes friends instantly with every animal. <laughs> well, that went pretty smooth. I had Charlie here earlier. I know Charlie. You doing good? Um, oh. That's probably good. So, uh, so I want to open this and we'll bring it right here to this right away. Yep. And then we'll get the first one in and then I'll go in there and open up that second door. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jovi. There you go. Yeah. Good boys. Got some friends. So we finished up wrangling up the new Rutherfords. And there's one of them right there. And that one's coming around the other side, but everything went really, really smooth. Everything went really, really well. Everybody looks really happy, so success. <laughs> and thank you've you. got two brand new steers. Yay, yep. thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> it was awesome. Unloading them when we got to Rutherford's house, it was really easy because the way he had it set up there, where I backed the trailer right up to it, opened up the gate of the trailer, and they went right into the little paddock that he had set up. And he's got a really good idea there in that He's got them set up in that little paddock and he's going to keep them there for a period of time so they get used to all the sounds of his farm. And then he's using um, electric woven fencing that he's going to, or it's, it's actually electric netting that he's using for his sheep. So he'll put the cows and his sheep together and that'll work out really awesome for him because they'll get used to that because their calves, they'll get trained on it. 
and he'll have really good success with that. So today was a really successful day. Everything went really, really well. And thank you so much for watching.